Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is the Maggie May. This came in my post fly box subscription month of May coincidentally. This is tied on a size 12 hook. I am using the medium sized wing. I am going to use the supplied backtail which is I believe is a synthetic bucktail we have a cream colored dubbing our thorax material is white marabou and the ribbing is copper wire and I will be using the supplied white thread this is a waxed thread it goes on really nice really easy so let's go ahead and remove our sample and secure our blank hook in the vise and like all good flies this will begin but with a single wrap of thread I'm going to start this towards the rear near the thorax or the main body section rather and we'll trim that off and the first piece of material we're going to tie in is the back material and I'm just going to grab I don't know about 10 or so fibers measure that out about a hook's length and tie that in at the rear I'm going to bring my thread forward and this is going to go the full length of the main portion of the body and we'll trim that off to length I've noticed with this uh, synthetic material it can be kind of tough on the tips of the scissors so be sure to open up the jaws and cut towards the base. We'll tie in our copper wire. Again, I'm just keeping this on the rear half of the hook. I'm going to tie that in on the top side. It's always good to tie your material in on the top. Keep it away from the gap of the hook. Take that to the rear and we'll bring our thread forward again. Make sure that's secured. I'm going to stop about halfway right at the tip of the hook and because this is a waxed thread I don't need to add anything additional to do my dubbing. Just a small little tuff. When it comes to dubbing less is more. and we'll form our dubbing noodle work that in there nice and tight and I like to start just a little bit away from where I'm going to start so I don't build up my thread get the dubbing towards the rear and we'll take touching wraps working forward building up a slight taper towards the center of the fly once that is down, we can come in and do our counter wraps with our copper wire. We'll space these out nice and even from the rear to the front. Secure that. And trim off our excess. All right, I'm going to come in with uh, another piece of back material. Again, 
I'm going to just kind of line that up just so it protrudes towards the end of the body. Tying in the tips. And with any luck, I can get that to ramp off of the back and flare up just a little bit. Excellent. Trim that off. All right, next I'm going to add the small wing material. Now this comes almost pre-shaped and pre-formed, and I have found it easiest to actually tie these in individually. So I will completely separate them. And with the flat portion facing forward, I'm going to tie this in about one hook's length. Go at a diagonal, couple of nice tight turns, rotate my thread, and do a couple of turns this way. Do an X wrap on that. Once that's secured, I have the small remainder. I'm going to trim that out of the way. and come in with the other wing. Again, about a hook's length. I can actually pinch both sides. A couple of turns this way, and we'll do a couple of turns this way. Now before I go too far with that, I want to confirm that these are the same length, which they appear to be. And now as if I were tying a post, I'm just going to do a few wraps around both wings. Really capture those nice and tight. Okay, I still have this scrap piece in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and trim that out of the way. And now to build up the thorax. Got a marabou. And I'm just going to go ahead and isolate just a small section. And rip that off and then trim it. I'm going to come in and tie these in by the tips. Sometimes it helps to give your thread a counter clockwise or an anti clockwise spin. Secure the tips of that marabou down. I'm going to bring my thread forward of the wings. Hackle pliers come in different shapes and sizes. Um, having the larger pads um, really help when it comes to grabbing this material. I'm going to do one full wrap in the rear of the wings. Bring it forward, and I'll do one wrap in front. Secure the marabou down. You can release the hackle pliers. And let's go ahead and trim off our excess. Couple more wraps up front and we'll give it the old one, two, three whip finish. 
One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Cinch that down and trim off our thread. Position the wings and get ready to fish. This is this is a fun and easy pattern. This is the Maggie May from the Post Fly Box May tying kit, tied on the size 12. Thank you for watching. Happy tying, and with this little gal from Post Fly Box, tight lines.